I meet you with love. To all my soul family, friends, family, star seeds out there, light workers, welcome to my channel. Before we get started with the singing bowl, I do have a few messages that I want to relate to all of you. Um, so a lot of you have been trying to reach me on my, um, uh, sorry, email. And please be patient because uh, my daughter is new on, uh, you know, she's she is now my personal assistant and she is taking care of all the emails. There is a lot coming in, okay? It's not just 10, 5, there's a lot and she's trying to do her best to get to all of you. Please remain patient. She will reach out to you and take uh, whatever information she needs, whatever it is that you're asking for, she will answer promptly. So um, I'm very happy for her to be here. Uh, now, another thing that I want to talk about is YouTube. YouTube has been doing a lot of upgrades lately, and they always do this every year. And a lot of people tell me, oh, I haven't seen you on YouTube. Well, I am there, so you need to check your notifications or see if, by mistake, YouTube unsubscribed you to my channel. So check out the subscription and make sure you press the all button. The all button will give you notification when I upload a video. Another thing I want to talk about is people impersonating me. There is a lot and it's I've been battling this and not just myself, but a lot of people out there on YouTube, on Instagram, there is impersonators, there is scammers. And uh, it's, I've been I've been going through this for the past two years. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, Instagram is not doing a great job, I have to say, of uh, people, uh, you know, identity theft is very is is very wrong, okay? And so there will be people out there impersonating me. They've stolen my pictures. I have reported them. Uh, if you don't see Patricia underscore 1111, okay, and you see another one or you see that someone is coming up to you and saying, oh, you know what? I could give you a reading. I will never, ever, ever come to you in private message on any social media to, to ask you, if you want a reading for you if you do want a reading you have to reach me through the email that it's underneath the video and my daughter will take care of you okay but in time of course because there's a lot of correspondence okay and so um just be aware okay of people coming to you because those are scammers and it's just not one person this is an organization and it's going on with everybody on the platforms of youtube and uh hopefully one day there's going to be a stop to that so just be aware of that as well, okay? So I always make sure that if you do see my picture somewhere and someone, they have like their private or, uh, they, you know, they have like, uh, I don't know, a few pictures of me, just report them and uh, hopefully uh, Instagram is gonna, you know, remove them completely. So um, yeah, those were my messages that I wanted to, rate, to relate to all of you. And now let's get started with the meditation. Okay, so um, this is the mini meditation with my singing bowl. And I'm gonna invoke, of course, my higher, si my higher self, the beloved universe, spirit, Mother Gaia, my angels, my archangels, my fairies, and last but not least, my ancestors to be here. Um, all you need to do is take a deep breath in and release. And I will invoke, of course, Archangel Uriel, Archangel, um, I'll, I'll I'll take the steps and I'll talk to you while I do the healing, all, uh, the ringing of the singing bowl. All you have to do is take a deep breath in and relax and I'll take care of you, okay? So we're going to start with Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and I'll do the same thing for you. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective as well. Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with unconditional love, peace, resolution, unity, health, wealth, abundance, compassion, kindness. And if you want to add anything, you can add as well. Only positive vibes. And so it is.
put this aside. So my mom and I, Giovannina, if you want to take a second, please, just close your eyes. If you don't have to close your eyes, but I am. My mom and I are sending you love, peace, and abundance in any shape, way, or form. My mom says thank you for all the beautiful messages that she receives every day when I tell her. She is continuing to pray for all of you here on YouTube three times a day. Yes, three times a day, and also for the collective as well. And uh, what did I want to say also? Well, again, a big thank you. And if there's any messages that you want to relate to my mom, just put them in the comments below. And of course, I'm just going to go get Sandy for all of you. Just give me a second and we'll take a second. Sorry, but here is Sandy. A lot of people have been asking, where's Sandy? She's right here. So Sandy is sending also her love to all of you out there. You see, she's wagging her tail. She's really happy. And again, thank you all for all the beautiful, all the beautiful comments. Thank you for being here. If it wasn't for you, I would not be on YouTube. And again, um, you know, a big thank you to my community of 27 years. Uh, thank you for all being there, people here on YouTube. Thank you for all your, you know, like I said, your communication, your love, your kindness towards me. And um, I'm very grateful to be here. So let's get started with your readings. So Sandy says bye. No, Sandy says bye. Sandy says bye. <laughs> Hi, Pisces, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from November 15th to the 21st, 2021. How are you all doing, Pisces? I hope that you're doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you also. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed your, uh, the new moon energy in Scorpio. So happy new moon for all of you out there. And don't forget to set your intentions for the next six weeks. So now let's get started with your reading, Pisces. Okay, we're going to start with the Ascendant Masters deck. And we'll see what the Ascendant Masters want to tell you. What is the message here? I will give you additional meanings of the card as well. Archangel Michael, you can do it, Pisces. You can do it. So this is a message from Archangel Michael to you. It says, you're qualified and ready to take the steps toward your desired outcome. You have what it takes to fulfill your dreams and your life's purpose. This card sin signals it's a time. It's not, uh, sorry. This card signals that it's time now to make your move. You can do it. Take action without delay or hesitation. And the additional meanings of this card is no more preparing or pro procrastination. Just do it. You're a valuable and beloved person. Ba break big goals into smaller steps and take one step today. Um, you're on the right path. Let go of uh, perfectionism and know that you'll do fine. So Archangel Michael is with you saying you can do it. Nice. Now we're going to look at your animal totem. elephant and that's good luck energy your animal totem is the elephant it's archangels mary and raphael that are with you look how beautiful this card is and the message is open yourself to true abundance so open yourself to true abundance now we're going to look at what you need to surrender and what is your challenge of the week
The challenge is surrender to obsessive thinking. Pisces, if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Okay, doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So surrender your obsessive thinking. And now we're going to look at what numerology is with you for this week and the meaning of the numerology. is number 30 i am imaginative number 30 pisces you are an original innovative thinker and an excellent communicator you have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others you got number 30 the next one you got is number 88 i am wealthy pisces you're on the you are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life you will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, uh, uh, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. Number 88. The next one you got is 555. Five, five. I am optimistic. Pisces, a major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. And last but not least, you got 1111. I am awakening. Pisces. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you to wake up to who you truly are. So if you see these numbers this week, this will be a confirmation of your reading with me today. So Pisces, let's get started with your reading. This reading is for Pisces Sun and anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it 100%, but if it doesn't, look at the other placements on your chart. In this reading, I will show you your recent past. I will show you your current energy. I will show you your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. After that, whatever signs that show up in your reading, we'll have a bonus round. After the bonus round, I will give you a crystal card, a sacred geometry card, and last but not least, a card from our beloved universe. Okay, so let's get into this and one more time to shuffle there we go cards are ready okay i see let's see what's going on here oh the cards want to come in quickly Cards just want to come out so effortlessly. Okay, Pisces, this reading is about you. But if you feel that it's about someone else, feel free to swap the energies around, okay? So in the overall energy, you got the full card. There's a new beginning taking place for you. This is about taking a leap of faith. In the recent past year, I see that you've been working on uh, something here. You've been putting a lot of time and energy, late hours at night, and for some of you as well, but just trying to perfect something and putting a lot of energy in something. And you've been working on yourself. This is really nice. We're working on your pentacles here. Okay, so that you're seeing like how far you've come. This talks about, you know, being uh, independent and also, uh, you know, eight to the nine of pentacles is really good. Okay, so you also could have had a, a raise in your paycheck. And what is crossing you is the king of wands energy. So this is about you going after passionately after what you want. In the current energy, you have the Page of Pentacles followed by the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so there is some type of offer coming in here. It's the, the pages are always the beginning stages of it, okay, of some type of, uh, like I said, like an offer coming in. 
And with the Knight of Pentacles here, this could be you or someone else, but I feel that this is you. You're moving forward very slowly to your destination. You're planning ahead. You're doing things differently, but you're moving on a slower level. And what I have here in the current energy as well is the Ten of Cups. This could be a soulmate energy. This could be a new beginning in your uh, love life for some of you. Okay, feeling content and happy, uh, having gratitude. Um, now, if you say, well, I'm single and I have nobody. Well, this is how you're feeling in your community, in your family life, or within yourself. But there's definitely a soulmate energy here. In the immediate future, you got the Ten of Pentacles. This is the fruit of life. Feeling gratitude. This could be a new beginning in uh, for some of you here uh, in a project that you're working on. Whatever you've been putting a lot of energy on. Whether it's yourself, or your business, your Pentacles, whatever this is for you. Uh, this materializes as the Ten of Pentacles where this can be like, a, you know, your retirement. Or it can be uh, unexpected money coming in. Or two people coming in, bringing their monies and there's a strong foundation here in the hopes and fears you got the ace of wands this is passion within you and all around you you're feeling on fire here okay you're really there's a lot of passion here what's being hidden from you is the nine of wands reverse um yeah guards down someone here that has guards down and the possible outcome you got the emperor this is about a commitment this could be about love business here and you're really planning ahead you're really you know setting up new rules new boundaries it's really nice energy okay so now we're going to clarify the cards for you and uh, i'm going to use these cards okay so i'm just going to shuffle them a bit Okay, let's look at the overall energy here. You got the full card. So let's see what's this all about. This is about taking a leap of faith. There's a doorway, a pathway that's opening up here for you. So definitely a new shift that's coming in. You got the nine of pentacles. You've been working on yourself here. The nines are here for you. You got the three of wands energy. And... The magician you've been by you've been manifesting affirming okay um you have all the tools here but okay vibrating higher your you know in your frequency energy and uh you've been working on yourself and you've been working on something and you've been very independent and it's time for you to take some time off Pisces because with the three of wands your manifestations are here in the energy okay so your ships are coming in here and there is a new beginning now let's look at the nine of pentacles in the recent past here. So then in the recent past, you got the two of pentacles. Oh boy. Uh, the five of cups reversed. The four of pentacles reversed. And the death card. Beautiful. A beautiful transformation that took place here in your life. Um, an ending, a new beginning is taking place. Coming in completion here. Okay, a beautiful transformation. Now definitely you, you've been working on something. Okay, you've been very independent working on something here uh you're not holding on to anything any longer okay so let me let me before i even go there let me just say this maybe at one point in the past you were being pulled in many different directions or you were pulled you were pulled in two different directions um you know and people pleasing and all that stuff that took place here and you came in also complete circle in the five of cups energy there was loss here in the connection maybe losses in the connection was a lot of resentment, hurt, and coming complete circle here. Uh, there's some type of closure, okay, that you did, you gave to yourself, or some type of reconciliation. Now, the reconciliation doesn't mean uh, that uh, you don't. Sometimes you talk to someone, you talk about it, and something is completed. It could be also that, and there's a huge transformation and ending that took place that you're not holding on to anything any longer. So there could be a lot of endings, and new beginnings taking place here for you, where you've been. Like I said, working on yourself. Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles also. You got the High Priestess. The Five of Wands reversed. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. 
releasing people or situations from the past with the five of wands energy this could be about like just drama gossip envy jealousy that's releasing from you you've been working on something and whatever you've been working on here whatever you've been putting a lot of energy in whether this is yourself or whatever it is uh maybe your intuition okay there's a lot of passion here it's the start of something new that grew within you passion within you and emanates from you with the ace of wands okay a lot of writing reading the books and following your intuition here with the ten of pentacles the fruit of life okay and i see that in the past tense and I also see it here and the spirit wants me to he wants me to tell you to uh trust in that intuition of yours the ten of pentacles is here for you this is a fruit of life that's coming in for you that's beautiful now let's look at the king of wands you got the eight of swords reversed you got the queen of swords reversed and the ace of cups there's a beautiful transformation with that took place okay so there is a shift that took place in the past where it was an ending of situations and people or whatever it is that took place here um someone here was feeling stuck at one point or overthinking about something it's past tense there's the queen of swords energy that's reversed there's someone here that's not in their element they're not able to see communicate clearly they're probably angry okay energy uh but what's being shown to me because of this scorpion energy okay um because you came in with the five of cups and there was some type of you know for those of you that felt abandoned or for those of you that was a loss or grief you came full circle so you some of you had to do your own closure and whatever the closure here that took place here uh, with the king of wands energy you're going after what you want it could be someone else that's here but there is abundance that's showing up for you okay this is abundance it's about unconditional love it's about peace and it's also about uh forgiving forgiveness but there is could be a marriage around you could be an, some type of beautiful event but there's definitely abundance and you got the ten of pentacles twice you got the ten of cups as well okay so now let's look at the current energy in the current energy you got the page of pentacles so let's take a few cards for the page of pentacles okay so why is the page of pentacles here you got the queen of cups here you are in the current energy the wheel of fortune The hermit the moon reversed the hermit reversed and the moon reversed some of you are coming out of the dark night of the soul where maybe coming out of a time where you were hermiting okay taking care of yourself and you confronted your biggest fears your difficulties and uh so definitely here with the page of pentacles there's offers that are coming in opportunities here here you are as the queen of cups very nurturing very loving emotionally available here it's been through a lot with the jupiter card there's a second chance coming in for you this is something that's destined faded coming your way there is luck in the situation as well and there is also releasing of fears okay and someone here that's coming out of a dark night of the soul or coming out of a time where since september they've been uh, hermiting okay in their space all right so someone here is coming out of a time out now let's look at the knight of pentacles because there's definitely here planning ahead moving slowly and planning ahead here okay you've got the ten of swords reversed the three of pentacles reversed the world reversed judgment okay so definitely here there was something in the past that was karmic that ended for you okay there was some type of judgment that took place someone that didn't take the time to reevaluate everything um something that was unstable there was no cooperation something that crumbled in the past because the world is un here is reversed so it's about tying up time maybe tying up loose ends um 
some type of closure for maybe for some of you. Whatever it was, there was some type something that took place in that, and, and so there is unfinished business here in the situation. And what's being shown to me is that there is someone moving ahead, coming in, or whether it's you or them, wherever this is for you, or it's you, you're moving slowly, very slowly, you're planning, but coming in very slowly with this Ten of Cups energy, a new emotional experience taking place here for you. Again, you got the Ten of Cups twice, the Ten of Pentacles twice, the Ace of Cups is abundance that's coming in. You got the Three of Wands, which shows your manifestations are here in the current energy. And you also got the Wheel of Fortune that's coming in to give you that second chance. This is something that's destined, right? Okay, but there's always free will. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with the Ten of Cups in the current energy. You got the Two of Cups reversed. Why are the Two of Cups reversed? The Emperor. You got the Emperor twice here. Maybe uh, in the current energy, uh, the Two of Cups, this could be about love, a lover, a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a partner, whatever it is. I feel that uh, on the spiritual level, you are connected, but on the physical, you're not. For some of you, it's not for everybody, this, okay? The Nine of Swords. And I feel some of you are dealing with a Scorpio here. Mm. Okay, some of you are, are dealing with a Scorpio. Most definitely. And you're both feeling the same way. Okay, what is this all about? Why? Okay, I'm going to ask why this Two of Cups is reversed here. There's worry about this. Someone's worrying. Okay, why is Two of Cups reversed here? There's a choice to be made. Okay, I get it. This is a divine union, a divine connection that's taking place. Okay, someone is guarded here. Okay, I just wanted to see what was going on, okay? So in this uh, situation of the Ten of Cups here, there is a commitment here. There's definitely a commitment. Definitely. It's about setting up new rules and boundaries here. This could be about business for some of you. But this Two of Cups here, reversed. Okay, and there's a lot of messages coming in, okay? A lot of passionate messages coming in. You're seeing a lot of the signs through the birds, Okay, some of you, it's about birds. Your signs are about birds. There's someone here that's guarded and is not able to move forward. So they're uh, forging ahead and they're not able to move forward from a situation here. Uh, I believe that someone here is uh, very worried and is not able to sleep at night. Whatever the case here, uh, there is a beautiful connection. There is a beautiful connection that's coming in. Okay, but I feel that they're not here yet. I feel they're here, but they're not here yet. Someone is taking their time coming in. They're planning, okay? They're taking their time. But the connection is definitely here. And there's a choice to be made, okay, in this divine connection. Now, let's look at the Ten of Pentacles in your immediate future. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? You got the Nine of Cups. You got the five of wands, justice reversed, the devil reversed. Why is justice reversed? Some of you are not getting the true story at this time. Or some type of truth. Why is the justice card reversed? The hair flip reversed. Why is it reversed? Okay, oops. Let's see here. There's someone that's putting a lot of energy into this, okay? So let's look at this together. Definitely here, it's with your gratitude. It's what with your gratitude. You're independent, working on yourself. You got to this full of life because you got seven, eight, nine, ten. This is synchronicity. There's no hidden factors anymore um, in a situation with the seven of swords reversed. There is here now... Uh, could be a lot in the current energy. You're still feeling a lot of energy around you, or if this is you or around you. People are very feisty, a lot of gossip and drama, fighting, uh, ego, uh, jealousy, envy around you, even while you're doing so much work and staying into the light energy here. Um, there is uh, some type of freedom that's taking place, or a divorce for some of you, okay, that's, uh, that's taking place, or there's some type of freedom from the devil energy or from the Saturn energy here. 
What's also being shown to me is that this could be a marriage for somebody that's rocky right now. It could be about higher learning and higher understanding. Okay, come like looking at the life lessons here. Someone here is still not completed this. And um, well, with the two of ones reversed, the chariot reversed, the Libra reversed, uh, justice reversed. Someone here is not moving forward and taking their power back. And there's something that's still off balance here. And not going after in the after their dreams, okay? For some reason, whatever this is for you, whoever's working on themselves, whoever's putting a lot of energy into something, whether it's themselves, okay? This is about a wish fulfillment that's coming in here for you. You have the ten of pentacles here. This is the fruit of life, and with the king, with the eight of pentacles, you are again someone here is still working, putting a lot of energy into this. Now, let's look at the Ace of Wands and the Hopes and Fears. You got the Two of Swords reversed. The Star reversed. The Tower. So there's definitely here, a lot of you um, may have had to make a difficult choice or decision. And your worst fear is coming, you, well, whatever fear that's coming in, some of you lost faith and hope in a situation or for your dreams to come true. And uh, so the universe is coming in to shift something. So the power is coming in for unexpected change. From all this negative energy, whatever this that you had to go through, you got the Ace of Wands. So there is definitely passion restoring within you and around you at this time now let's look at the nine of wands and what's being hidden from you got the three of swords reversed so it's whole there is a healing that took place here so got the three of swords reversed the nine of wands reversed what else here the seven of cups reversed Four swords reversed the four ones. Whatever the situation that you had to go through, there's guards down here in a situation, and it's also someone that healed a loss. And there's no more confusion about this because you took the time to heal and you got the clarity that you needed with the four swords reversed. Someone's coming out of this, and there will be a proposal here. Okay, there's gonna be a special event taking place in the home and a strong foundation here. Now let's look at the emperor in the possible outcome. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Finances look good, Pisces, for you. The, the Knight of Swords. There's going to be an unexpected message coming in. The Three of Cups. It could bring you celebration. It could be someone from your past as well. All depends. You got the Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. So there is going to be some action taking place here. Okay, some type of action is taking place here. So let's, let's see here. So definitely here, uh, this could be about your finances and being stable, being reliable, insecurity and victory and success with the Queen of Pentacles energy. There will be an unexpected message coming in with the Knight of Wands. Yes, it could be from someone from your past, from your childhood. For others of you, there's a lot of emotions with this situation here. Uh, but I do see that you're going to overcome the Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So you're going to overcome a situation here where you're worried about and the Page of Pentacles talks about an offer coming in. The pages are always the new beginnings that are taking place. There is some type of offer. And there is some type of action that's being taken place here with the Knight of Wands. I'm just going to take an extra card for the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. What is this all about? If you... Okay, some of you, this is going to be presented to you. And some of you with the Four of Cups, there could be some sort of not wanting to see a situation rejection as well not wanting to see something of the past you have the knight of cups so definitely you got wands the knight of wands and the knight of cups someone here coming in but they're coming in as knights not as kings you got Temperance reversed and the strength reversed. So you're dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aries. It doesn't have to be. 
but whatever it is here, uh, patience is needed, moderation is needed, and uh, this talks about having self-confidence or the courage and the strength, and uh, this is definitely uh, someone here that's make, that is not taking the time to communicate or not taking the time to be patient or moderate or in a situation or having the self-confidence. Is there anything else here that is, has to be shown to me for you? The King of Cups. So there is someone emotionally available. There's something here that you need to be patient about, uh, Pisces, in a situation here. S making too much of a quick decision without thinking about it. Some of you are don't have don't aren't feeling up to it at this time. Don't have the strength, the courage, or the self confidence in the situation. But patience and communication is the key. And the possible outcome here, you got the Five of Swords reversed. There's been a lot of uh, um, unhappiness in the past year. Uh, people that lied to you, people that did not have your back, deception, and a lot of unhappiness that took place here. But this is past tense energy with the Five of Swords. So something is being released from you, right? And then you have also the King of Pentacles. So definitely the King and Queen of Pentacles is here. There is a new emotional experience that's coming in for you, all right? So this is your reading. So now we're going to look at what signs showed up in your reading. Also, I will show you what... I'm also going to show you what are the planets that are affecting you at this time. Okay. So give me a second here. So let me just take a look here. Okay, I will be right back with your bonus round. Please don't go anywhere. Okay, Pisces, I'm back for your bonus read. So before we get started, because you got all the 12 signs, I will tell you which of the planets are affecting you at this time. Now, if you do want a free birth chart, all you do is go on Google and write free birth chart, and you can go to the ones I trust are astrologycafe.com, astrotheme.com, or astro.com. If you want one that's really personalized and you want to understand what's going on, in your first house, second house, third house, and what's happening in the planets, what they're doing, then you need to get a personalized one. And I recommend Kelly Rosano. She used to do horoscopes every month, but now she's not doing that. But you could still reach out to her if you need her. All right. So now the planets that are affecting you at this time, Pisces, is, of course, you have Pluto, Jupiter, Lilith, Mars, Saturn, the south node in Sagittarius. You have uh, Uranus and Neptune. Okay, those are the planets that are affecting you at this time, whether it's a conjunction, sextile, or square. Now, you got 12 of the signs. All signs came in for your reading. This doesn't always happen to me. So let's get started right away. You got all the signs. Okay. So let's get started. 
with heart to heart, soul to soul. This is about being vulnerable, okay? And a lot of people have a hard time being vulnerable because, right, scared and how, and how uh, you know, of rejection or how people are going to see them. And this could be about anybody in your life, okay? It could also be about you giving a message to someone or someone giving a message to you, all right? So use your intuition, use your gut, you'll know, you will feel it. So now I'm uh, going to shuffle the cards. And let's get started. Okay, they're ready. All right, so Pisces, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn, okay? So Pisces, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, what are the messages for Cap? You're dealing with a Capricorn. I've been having weird dreams about us. They're loving. They have guilt. I want your attention. I am sorry I triggered you. They're, they're blocking. They're feeling excited. They're calm. I don't care what people think anymore. And it's hard for me to explain things if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Pisces, if you're dealing with a uh, Aries, there's shame. They're doubting. They have guilt. You were so unexpected. The changes are real. They're fantasizing and they have a secret. Their secret is that they can't stop thinking of you if you're dealing with an Aries. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Pisces, a Sagittarius, I want to be vulnerable with you. They're compassionate. Our eye contact is insane. No one else matters now and be patient with me, please. Anything else for Sagittarius? Yes. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. I want to talk to you. And that's with Sagittarius, okay? If you're dealing with a Leo, a Leo Pisces, I'm working on myself. I am choosing you. They're passionate. If I had only known then what I know now, and I, I don't want to let you down. Your words speak to me like no others can. My karmic story is ending. You're feeling anxious. They're in denial and they're nervous. Anything else for Leo? Yes. I'm ready for more than just text messages. They're indecisive and they're distant. If you're dealing with a Leo. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Pisces, a Taurus. You're hopeful. This card has to come out. I can't walk away. I won't let you go. I remember everything you said. You are the only one who truly gets me. If you're dealing with a Taurus. Wait for me. They're feeling nostalgic. And what we have is soul recognition if you're dealing with a Taurus. Pisces, if you're dealing with a Gemini. I had no idea, idea you would end up meaning so much to me. You're feeling annoyed. You are hard to forget. I am afraid to trust. They're frustrated. I'm trying to figure things out. You hit me out of nowhere if you're dealing with a Gemini. Pisces, if you're dealing with a Virgo, They are daydreaming, they're excited, they're cold. You are twin flames, they're anxious, they have repressing emotions. 
they're guarded. I regret how I handled things before. I'm overthinking everything. You will always be my secret love if you're dealing with a Virgo. Pisces, if you're dealing with a Libra, they're controlling. My nerves get the best of me sometimes. They're feeling stuck. They have regret and you changed my whole direction. They're feeling triggered. They are safe. Anything else for Libra? That's it for Libra. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Pisces, an Aquarius, they're stressed. They're asking you to trust them. I miss you more than you know. I want a future with you. They're heartbroken. They're feeling annoyed and I just want to go back in time if you're dealing with an Aquarius. If you're dealing with a fight, no, Let's, wait a second, I'll go with Scorpio. If you're dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, a Scorpio, I'm making plans. I just need more time. They have resentment. They're feeling wishy-washy. They're feeling confused. They're angry. This card wanted to come out. They have envy. I am still moved by you. And they have gratitude. If you're dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Cancer. Pisces, a Cancer. They're apologetic. They have passion. I suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. I am sending you telepathic messages. I don't want to miss my chance with you. Anything else for cancer? Yes. I am overcoming my fears. You are old flames. They have repressed emotions. Anything else for cancer? Yes. They have fear because they are overcoming their fears. And we will be together again. Last but not least, if you're dealing with another Pisces or this is how you're feeling, the rest of the cards are yours. So let's look at it together. You deserve more. There's bitter. Someone's bitter here. There's sadness. They're honest. There's anger. You have good intentions. You give me so much to look forward to. They have grief. They're bored. They're nostalgic. They have joy. And last but not least, they're saying you are the one. So I hope that you enjoyed your bonus round. Now we're going to look at your crystals. So what are the crystals that you will need for this week? Pisces. for this week in the crystals. There we go. You got smoky quartz. And the appearance is translucent in brown to black with yellowish, yellowish highlights. So the healing modality is relieves nightmares and aids dream work. It dispels negative energy and brings in positive. It helps to release what is no longer needed. It grounds and anchors to relieve stress, aids in communication and concentration. And it's a great eliminator and detoxifier. And this is for the root chakra. So again, it releases stress and depression, calms the emotions, cleanses chakra, enhances passion, and clears the mind for meditation. Smoky quartz is your crystal for this week and for as long as you need it. Now we're going to look at the sacred geometry to see what's in store for you here, Pisces. So 
And let's see what's in store for you. Okay, you got number, you got a master number, you got number two, you got Dreamweaver, and that also is good for you, Pisces, because you are dreamers, and that's beautiful. So let's look at it together. This is about laying foundations and manifestation, and your affirmation, you can repeat it after me, if not, just say so it is at the beginning, at the end. And I, I here the affirmation is, I am, I am in full control of my life, which allows me to manifest my dreams and desires. Again, I am in full control of my life, which allows me to manifest my dreams and desires. And so it is. You pulled this card today because it's time you create some firm boundaries in your life. But first, you must surrender your fear of making mistakes. Dreamweaver will help you create strong foundations and balance, which will help you on your path. By taking back your power, you will regain a sense of balance and realize where you've been limiting yourself. It's time to take charge of your life and manifest your dream and desires. The practical application is this. Okay, so you need to take a picture. A lot of you do already have this picture, but if not, take a screenshot of this card. You need to trace it. Okay, you could also use it as a wallpaper when you meditate, but some of you will need to trace this card. So I will give you a few seconds here that you take a screenshot. If you don't have time, just go back and on the video and you could take the screenshot. So place this template in the wealth corner of your home or business and grid accordingly. The wealth, the wealth corner is the farthest left corner from the front door or any given room, okay? Allow the vibration of this card to work with you to manifest your dreams and desires. Well, with intention, bringing in the money needed to help you stay supported. You can place words on the template such as money comes to me easily, freeze, uh, freely and frequently. Remember, asking for this guidance without putting in the hard yards won't work. And this card numerology is a seven and it's a vibration of manifesting to the eight. And so the crystals that you could place on, if you like, you can place any crystals you want. But the crystals that they suggest here is citron, smoky quartz, okay, uh, cinnabar, carnelian, and moss agate. Again, citron, smoky quartz, cinnabar, carnelian, and moss agate. And the animal medicine is a spider condor and owl okay so that's beautiful dream weaver and now last but not least we'll take a card out from our beloved universe to see what are the messages here for you what is the message or messages here for you okay Pisces. Pisces. There we go. Your card came out. Number 32, five energy. All is at your fingertips, Pisces. What has been created by one can be had by all. All is in your fingertips. Okay? So this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, Pisces. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember that we are one and we are love. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.